It's on, it's ready, we're back. Here we are. Get ready, because we're doing unboxings today, reviews, news, everything. All of the above. I have a pen, this is my new magic pen from Japan. Oh, it's an actual pen, is it? What makes it so special? I mean, other than the okay. weight. Like, I get the outside, but is it like, is the writing tool part of it special? The Pe writing tool? It the... takes the rollerball part. Oh, okay, that's what I'm saying. I like the way that it rolls across the paper. It's just for writing a dog, a writing utensil. I like that you did Angela's show, Angel's show too. Yeah, got my porn posters. Yeah, I saw those in the vlog. That's fucking sick. Porn posters. Remember NC-17? Like, that doesn't even come out anymore. Like, when's the last NC? Remember, it was such a big deal. Like, R, but there's NC-17 as yeah, well. No yeah. Was it? NC-17? Because those say R-18 on them. Oh, like, on the oh. bottom corner. I don't know if that has to do with it. Yeah, because NC-17 is above R. Because no one, un no one under the age of 17 is allowed even with a parent. That's the rule. Oh, is that NC for no consent? Like, yeah. maybe. Like, we don't care if your parents are cool with this. Yeah, we don't care if your parents are degenerates. You can't come in. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Jackass one? Maybe. I just remember going to Jackass and them checking IDs, like, in the movie. Like, when after everybody was in their seat, they came and checked IDs again. And I was like, y'all are trash. Like, That's Someone crazy. in the theater goes, Jesus Christ, will they kill somebody in this yeah. movie? <laughs> I remember somebody hit a bong in the theater during uh, Beavis and Butthead. I went to the premiere of that. Uh, kind of risky in that. Oh, yeah. Back in those days, hell yeah. Somebody I thought was smoking. I went to the Alamo Cantina the other day and smelled weed burning. People started looking around. I'm like, someone is fucking hitting a joint in here. It's amazing. People should just hit joints all over. Hey, what do we got here? Lots of stuff from StockX because I made orders while I was gone. Nice. I ordered everything here while I was in Japan and then all got here before I got home. And then we got a lot to open. This looks interesting. And then, uh, That's this not. From. Blur out the. Yeah, this came from. BBC. Nice. Mimi. Let's do it. Where are we doing it? In there? Yeah. Mystery box for Mimi. Aaron, give me some good angles, dog. I am. You're coming off of a very angle heavy vlog. Yeah, dude. We need to be... How many times did you get teary eyed during the last vlog? It was good, dude. It was good. Just trying it, that's what well that's what you'll say like I don't want to over because I'm wilding today dog my ears okay um because because you'll say like I don't want it to be overproduced but then I watch that it's not overproduced but it is well produced yeah, I but mean. there's some shake to it which makes it real it it's look like, like people who tweet out motivational shit and you know they don't really care today's a brand new day I get what you're what saying do you guys have planned to change your path it's real analog yeah they don't really know. care what you have to change your path yeah, they so want your comments same thing like it's very sterile so when things are like absolutely perfect in an edit or perfect. Yeah. I mean, that's why I leave the in. That's why I leave certain little shakes and shit. Yeah, and I like that too. I get it. I like it. that fully produced extra... I get it. I like the fine line. Coming from Germany with some anti-shake through the Yeah, streets. you need to find a fucking... Don't color correct ever again in your life. I won't. Never. I won't. I Never. won't. I just... Sometimes I think it's kind of funny, though, because I think people... You thought people, it was subtle. You said in your text. I did. You're like, oh, you noticed that? I thought it was subtle. Because <laughs> it wasn't like a full film grain like I normally do. It was just color correction, but yeah, it went it went deep. You look like a jaundice. It's not that... All right, all right. We're going back. A lot of bubble wrap. Oh. Oh, I know what they are. I, my guess, do you know right now or no? My guess is that they're the... Because I'm oh, hype if it's what screaming. they are. I am not that sensitive. My guess no. is it's the new human races. They're way too heavy. Because you saw those new ones with the it blue. It says friends and family on it. Those aren't friends and family on the blue ones. I don't yeah. think they, it's a general release now. I'm pretty sure. Huh. Well, we're about to find out. In Tomorrow. The... <laughs> Tomorrow's vlog. I'm gonna cut the black. You know, that's you how I'm gonna start doing. Just do a three minute people vlog. Do click, people do click bait. I'm gonna start doing <coughs> click hangers. That's like, a good idea. Yeah. It's it, like, tune in tomorrow, bitch. Yeah. I'm not posting anything anywhere. Yeah. It's drought season. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> For the <laughs> Many of you don't understand when vlogging and Instagramming and Twittering, it's it's hard to always decide where you want your content to go. True. And you gotta live in the moment. Yeah, you gotta live in the moment. You wanna share that content, but you don't wanna take away from the excitement of the vlog this evening. It's a difficult decision sometimes. Like as I got the tattoo of Brandy on my leg, I said, do I wait and surprise the whole vlog with this? Or do I put it up in my Instagram story right now? After you deliberating. I wanted the clout. I want, I the, want the likes. Yeah. I went through the pain. It's for me. Oh. Try and get it on camera. 
We don't care. All right, let's unbox this. We got it. Your tail's no, there. We're it's gonna not even focused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have it on your face. Hold on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do it again. This is where it just fades to white. Let's tune in the net. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nice, bro. It's a toy. Yeah, it's the official flagship color for the Trefoil logo, which is why it's the blue. Oh. And it's the Moon Man colorized in PMS 300, which is that color. It oh, be shit. Like hand -tone color. Sounds like when your girl gets mad at you. <laughs> PMS 300 uh, right now. Oh, it is PMS. Oh, this thing's sick, dude. It's heavy. I knew it was a pair of shoes. Talk, I feel like I just won an MTV award. <laughs> Give your little speech. Yeah. This is sick. What's this little pouch? His feet move? Doop. It's like a moon. Oh, rock. hell yeah. Oh, you can spend it. It gets you a pair of Yeezys in any Adidas store. With commemorative. <laughs> we should lay it down and get some nice, like, B-roll and talk over it. Or it's like, yeah. Oh. With the PMS 300 commemorative coin. Welcome to the Adidas BBC Friends and Friends. Only you. available to the realest of the real. You know the deal. You're part of the future. Nice. I like Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> Yeah, earn her Nipsey Hussle for the first time today. <laughs> At least he's honest about it. It's good. People eat me up in hip-hop circles. My yeah. two biggest things in hip-hop circles were saying I didn't oh. know who he was, and back when Lady Gaga dropped Just Dance admitting that I liked that song. Yeah, the that problem is that you claim to know so much about hip-hop, and yet you listen to the lowest common denominator of hip-hop. And everybody is waiting to hear you talk about Kodak Black, and we're not. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it on the vlog. No, it triggers Teddy. It triggers you. You don't know where to go with it. Well, you almost got a Kodak Black tattoo last week i did and right before the whole nipsey hustle lauren thing i i was about to get it that's what this turned into the brandy tattoo yeah. it was going one way or another it was supposed to be just a fun you were gonna get a kodak black tattoo but instead you got your you decided wife. your second choice which was one for your wife <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound good when you say it like that, I but I don't know what to say. Um, Kodak hasn't been making great choices. Okay. I'm not going to lie. That's I can't co-sign everything. I like his music. I'm still rooting for him. I'm not rooting against him, but he makes it difficult to root for him. You it know, makes it hard to care. Somebody made a good point to him. I forget who said it to him, but about the whole thing, they were like, dude, if you're saying the Lauren London comment wasn't meant that way, then just fucking say that instead of having to be such a tough guy about yeah. it. You know what I mean? Dude, like, dudes just don't know how to like take the humble. Mm. Yeah. They can't just be like, ah, you know what? That was, that was that was stupid. I probably shouldn't. I can say that. I'm great at yeah, saying that was yeah, stupid. Yeah. Next up, let's take it from the other side. Dude, that Bert Kreischer, the machine, I know they always talk about it. I never actually saw it. Oh, uh, it's just so funny. Oh my God, is it funny? <laughs> so this, this is a really funny story. The StockX Finish Your Bid contest is going on, right? Yeah. I even finished more bids this morning. One dude who, <laughs> who fucks with us. This is so fucked up. Put in a bid for like... I don't think I know if he put in a bid, but I saw a tweet from him that was like, I need to decide which Columbia pullover to get off StockX because I'm going to run out of time, the white one or the red one or something like that. And so ever since we went to New York, we saw Homeboy wearing that white parka. And I was like, I need a white one. And I couldn't find any. So then when he tweeted that, I was like, let me go see what the white ones look, look like right now. And it was at like 400 bucks. I should just go ahead and cop. So I've copped. And then he actually tweeted me later about something else. Like, Teddy made the free hikers disappear, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you think you're bummed now. We'll just wait. And he was like, how could it get any worse? <laughs> like, when's the last time you checked on that jacket on StockX? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> he screenshotted the sale. He's like, you motherfucker. It's like it's on site now. <laughs> Sniped it out. But there it is. Had to get the white one. The Still. blue one's almost, it's going to... It's gonna have to turn into a project eventually. Like, patches all over it. <laughs> There's like feathers coming out of every. You know? This looks fucking fire. Yeah, it's clean. I didn't that wanna, 3M. Originally, I didn't want to get it because I was wearing these on the mountain. And I was like, I don't want to wear a white on the mountain. No one yeah. can see you. But I don't really wear these always. Dude, that is the fire. One, though. I barely got to ski this year, but for next year. I know, I barely I got to ski. probably not lay it on top of the paint. I want to get some. Some shots here. I guess it doesn't do it justice if the light's not hitting it. And now, final package. There's what is two, this thing? Two right here. Are you blind? Oh shit! Another package has appeared. These are all the shots. Yeah, I so said I ordered on the vlog in Japan the other Yeezys. Yeah. These are the 13 and a half, which I only got because they're a little bit smaller, the bigger. Because everybody is always like, a bunch of people hit me up when I'm like, go true to size. They halved up because some other people are like, you should half up. <laughs> and then, like, half of those people hit me up and go, 
I should have listened to you. So for those people, I also got a 13 and a half just to ride with you, you know? <laughs> just like in solidarity for people who don't take my advice. That's, I'll wear these. I'll wear these on the days that people aren't taking my advice. When did the glow in the dark come out? What glow in the dark? Oh, like the fully glow in the dark? Yeah, like those know. green, crazy looking ones. I'm not sure. Because I want those. Yeah, you can't then. When's yeah. the last time you bought a pair of fucking shoes, though? These? No, and then... Uh, those are it. For sure. Off of you though, you gave me those uh, Pharrells, the Pharrell, not the Afro pack, whatever they ended up calling it. Uh -oh. Solar pack. Yeah. Those, you got those in Japan. Yeah, I guess this is it. My latest. This color. colorway. There's a contradiction in this with me. If OG fans, fans, whatever, okay, people who watched the vlog for a long time, or were on my Twitter early, I contradicted myself by buying the shoe, but pe no one's called me out for it yet. If I should tell, or if people should, I should wait and see if somebody can call me out. Whoever calls you out first gets a free t-shirt, but then tell me anyway oh, off yeah, camera yeah, when you're done, because I want to know. I'm like stoked for these, I just was like... Oh shit, what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is the uh, hyperspace, easy. What? I didn't even know those existed. So it's from the three pack. There's the clays, those, uh, and these. These are the ones from... Wait, those were the cl the, the the 13 and a half weren't the clay? No, those are the tray forms or whatever. Tray uh, dude, I gotta get some new Yeezys. This you also is need to watch the vlog. I did, but I just thought looking at them quickly, when you were saying you got a different size, I thought you I thought you were talking about like I have the clays already, so I got a different size uh, clay. No, no, no. To be, did you not see them pulling back? I up? did there see them now. And, and I thought in my head, I'm like, dude, those look a little different. You were like, I think Teddy got fakes. I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm like, I, these just. What do you think people are gonna do when they Find out you're really easy, Busta. Fuck! Look at this. Yeah. That I'm really easy, Busta. Yeah. I Put know. the mask on. Yeah. Well, these are cool then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Those are the. Those. And those. those are the yeah, best. So stuff. It's kind of. It's not a white, all white upper. I feel. I'm surprised those didn't get more hype than the clay. Why'd the clay get the most hype out of all three? I feel like. <laughs> I don't know why the clay got so much hype. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't possibly have to do with any on shots hitting the net in Wait. natural light. <sighs> Maybe. With no edits. Well, let's get these on the net. No, don't, because I want to get these before start, they these go out. Though. They've been out for a while now. I'm, I'm late on these. How much are these resale? I got taxed. I pay like 480 for my Ooh. side on these, for sure. Shout out to StockX. Yeah. But it is ill. Here's what I've learned about. All right, so here, let's have a discussion about resale. Where you need to put your mind, okay? Time is money, right? Yep. So one of the reasons I went to Japan was to go and search out Godzilla apology toys. Man, we saw. Yeah. I have one of them. I was going to ask you, did you only got one. There's a microphone that just fell off in my hand. So one of them. I bought two of them because they had two, but just it's just Mega God. <laughs> it's amazing yeah. with the microphone. Everywhere I went, they were just like, they were like weird about it. They'd ask, it almost like I was asking for porn. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, y'all have this? And they'd go like, no, 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 no. And then one guy who had it, he's like, only Mega God. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. And it's like behind the counter. I don't understand. Yeah. Like, like almost everybody that asked not vibing with it. They were like, no, 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 ha, ha, ha. They'd laugh. Weird. You know? Yeah, it was weird. I ended up last night finding them on eBay, all four of them, for 200 bucks. That's not bad. Not crazy. This was $6, by the way. Yeah. So it's insane resale. <coughs> I spent at least... <laughs> 24 hours searching Japan for the toys. Yeah, yeah. I probably should have just fucking spent yeah. more time working and just like bought them off of Amazon originally. Yeah. Probably were even cheaper on Amazon Japan, which I could have done in, oh, that's in, true. in Japan. But so same thing with the shoes. It's like all the time it would have taken to find the shoes for retail. This is why you need places yeah. like stock eggs. Like you don't have time for this. Like by the time I got home, the shoe I want is here. You know, like that's what I'm needing. But, yeah, dude. And the soul's glow in the dark. Oh, that's dope. Turn off that light real quick. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Well, it hasn't been like charged, but it glows. It's the unboxing. That's it. Now, next in the news. What? I don't know. Jordan 4s. Jordan 4s are being delivered as we speak. People are very disappointed because the quality is terrible. Serious? Yeah, the quality control in the shoe is like awful. Like they're scuffed, they're, the paint is terrible. Like they're just really, so, the air is off-centered. There's so much shit about them that are really bad. But the, <laughs> my joke is the irony is if it said off-white on it or if Virgil had put them out, people would be so into it. Which is true. That's news. Um, and then Adidas news is the recycled shoe, the loop. 
the future loop, the future, yeah. future craft. But here's what's in. So I don't like the sample. I don't like them. The first model I'm not into. Like I don't like it. I think it looks like pure boost. I think it's funny how much people say they don't like the translucent stripe on the uh, Easy, but that thing has trans see-through stripes on it too. And no one is saying anything about it. They're like, I like the shoe. But the concept is really cool. But here's what I didn't know, which when I started reading about, which is insane, which is the only thing really to talk about for the release. One, the shoe isn't coming out for a long time for the public, which I don't really even think that it matters. Like the shoe isn't even what matters. It's really the concept of them moving into fully recyclable yeah. shit. So it's cool. And easy. printing shit there, but right? By 2024, they've committed to have all of the, if I read this shit right, all of their product will be fully sustainable, which means that you're moving out of the thing. Like when people, when we have shoes now that we have in our collections, that means that they'll never exist again. Like Adidas won't be able to retro the NMD nice kicks. Because it's not fully sustainable. Yeah, you can't not, do the knit again. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. the same materials. You'll never yeah. get suede again. That's not a sustainable material. Leather yeah. is done. Like, what are you talking about? So from that standpoint, I'm super excited and interesting to watch. I'm, I'm not really in, like, I, that's a really big gauntlet for the product. You know, like, as someone who's a fan of some of the product, like, it could swing both ways. All Yeezys now are going to have to be sustainable product. That's a big fucking deal. And what is sustainable? And then, I mean, I know what the word sustainable means, but I mean, when it comes I to... I take it as that all of their product is going to be made from recycled... Or Me too. Or, or it be recyclable... <laughs> Recycle, recycle. Yeah, recycle a low below. Yeah, that's that's a that's crazy as fuck. That's incredible. So that's huge for that. That's the shoe that they're like rolling out first. I think is kind of the hell. Like I don't really. There's not. A, I saw the picture. It's of all it. plastic. Doesn't yeah. Matter. Which I gotta tell you, the 4D. I, I've only put them on my feet, but they don't feel half as comfortable as Boost. So I couldn't imagine that a plastic upper is gonna feel as comfortable as like a be, knit. But it's just like knit. They probably found a way to make knit out like of a softer. Plastic. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's crazy for the future of their company. Yeah. Like, it's like basically all new product, or at least product with a new chain unless there's a certain mod I don't know I just don't think you can make just weird modifications it means that some of those shoes will never exist again like V2s after they're done yeah by 2024 these are the best it's funny these are still V2s right mm -hmm. like it should be V3 yeah I mean but this is different AD, that's AD, different AD, that V2.1 yeah you're right because they're totally different I mean even this look how it kind of like steps yeah. down I think that it's stepping into the new patterns you're gonna get I think it's like a teaser it's like a snippet. It's, <laughs> it's like amazing. a beat snippet. The shoes are like beat snippets now. They show you what the next model is going to be. Yeah, but these are so different than the V2s. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. There's enough changes. That's what I'm saying. People would bug me. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Because I uh, am tired from flying. Oh, no. Someone sent me some other shit, and I haven't opened it yet. This oh. This dude that I follow, because I started following, because I didn't know what it was. This dude, um... He wrote a really nice letter, but he sent these things that he made that are like carb cap holders and bubble caps. And he always like posts all these toys and shit. I'm looking for his name. Cause he's like, I don't want promotion, but I don't really care if he doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ascending Tom. Nice. A-S-C-E-N-T. That's but, funny. Cause I have a friend called Descending Tom. <laughs> Maybe they'll meet in the middle one day. But he makes like cool shit. Like I don't think it's glass. It's like acrylic and stuff, but he posts all the cool toys. And oh, man, I need it on there. I remember in home ec class, in a technology yeah, class, right. you can make plastics like that. Yeah, like little acrylic molds and stuff. They're cool. Stoke. It is cool. So wait, this is to hold like the, the bubbler thing? Yeah, the, yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta make some chopstick holders. <laughs> <laughs> Masterpiece bags we got in Japan. It's in the, uh, it's with the hoodies in that room. <laughs> it's sitting on, oh, well, there's an, still another yeah, one. Yeah, a little purple. Yeah, hold on, let me zoom out here. <laughs> Masterpiece. I bought a lot of toys and stuff. Nice. A lot of and shit. But I bought, I figured out Gachapon resales where it's at. Just go like cruise the stores and find them shit. All the people who've already like mined all the good shit because they're not really, it, the resale amount is like a dollar. Dude, but they must backdoor it. Like there must be people that know the Gachapon guys. Because I've seen them when it gets stuck where they just open it and hand you whatever. So that's the real move. Whatever we open, like we need Gachapon in it because once we get the plug, it's not about the, the metallic the dragon, the metallic dragon tails slimes. They're so sick. It's amazing. Yeah, that's all these things. Cool. Did, you had a brown one too. No, or gold? Didn't you have a different one of that too? Or that's the one? I ordered mm. another metal one because they were sold out. That was the only one they had. Dude, the move is we open a store in Japan, we put the shirts there, we get Gachapon in there. Once we no, get we in. Put, a, put our shirts in a vending machine in Japan. Oh, yeah. That's the move. Hook a store. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why don't we do that already? I mean, I'm thinking, I'm working on multiple things right now. That's really what, the, what I'm about to say to you is I'm tired <laughs> and I have to draw and work on so much shit over the weekend, so. Right, well, you gotta bring me home. I'm pretty much where I'm at. I'm gonna send you an Uber. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. I got your card. <laughs> All right, so yeah, today is basically just, well, first off, shout out to BBC for the Friends and Family Pack, super cool. And shout out to StockX, because super hype on New Kids Jagged, Yeezys, these are dope. I really like this colorway, the contrast is nice. This is definitely like the more boring of them, but I don't hate it. I wanna see if these are the same color as the Sesame's. My Sesame's are still dead stock, pretty sure. You know, um, I don't know where they are. Alex may have slid them around. So I don't know if I took them out of the box. Oh, no, they're here. Because someone was saying it's the same color. So I really want to see. Pretty close. It's not the same color. This is more gray. Yeah, it's not the same color. It's pretty close, though. It's a pretty close color. I might not even be able to see it on camera, but the sesame is definitely a little lighter. Woo! Cha! Shout out to StockX for that. Finish your bid is still going on. If you don't know the deal with that, then go watch the video that is titled Finishing People's StockX Bids. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, this weekend is very busy for me. I'm uh, already kind of planning my next trip. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about going to Chicago. I went to Chicago for my birthday last year, so birthday's coming up again. Maybe I'll do it again. I don't know. Um, I have like, a lot of stuff to work on, just like for the brand, and we're getting ready to drop the meta. The meta god. We have the original here still, and then the print. Dropping prints like last time, people are asking if we were going to do that. Yes, the answer is yes. But the first test print's here. <sighs> Looks pretty. Good. There's only got to be one print this time. There's not going to be a second edition. So, yeah, don't sleep on that. Mm -mm -mm. Went to the store. Went to the store, caught some Topo Chico. Back in the U.S. Now get back on the water kick. Chill with all the sodas. I've been crushing the sodas lately. So, need to chill. And, uh, yeah, pretty much just unpacking, getting settled back in, doing artwork, preparing for drops. Everything is shipped, except we have the Tokyo stuff start shipping this week. Friends and family only, that was, uh, I believe. I don't think that came out for the public. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you want to hook up the StockX contest, the link is also in the description. If you don't know about StockX, the link is in the description. Shout out to StockX. We love you. I'm glad that you love me. It's all love. If you love getting shoes and merchandise and clothing. Also, I heard that they're doing bear bricks now. I didn't even check, but that's dangerous. I'm not super in love with all the bear bricks, but I'm sure there's some that I could find because toy obsession is real. What's up? What's up? Wanna say bye, everybody? Since you're being crazy since I got home? Huh? Did you everybody how crazy you are? You know everybody how crazy you are? Huh? Doesn't take much, does it? Doesn't take much, does it? What, pat your butt? Whoa! Whoa! Can we get some work done now? Think we can get some work done now? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Excuse you. Hey. 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 Omar. 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 <laughs> I'm done. Say peace. Peace out. <laughs>